Have you ever wondered how one of the greatest empires in history, ancient Rome, began? Picture this. The year is 753 BC. A young man named Romulus, after a power struggle with his twin brother Remus, founds a small settlement. This settlement, poised on the banks of the Tiber River, was destined to grow into a rich and powerful city over the next few centuries. And so, the small settlement on the banks of the Tiber River began its journey to becoming the grandeur that was Rome. How did Rome transform from a monarchy to a republic you ask? Well it all began with the overthrow of the monarchy in 509 BC. This dramatic shift led to the establishment of the Roman Republic, a new government structure that introduced the Senate and the Roman assemblies. This wasn't just a political change though, this was the birth of an expansionist era, where Rome began to spread its influence far and wide. The Republic wasn't just a political shift, it was the beginning of Rome's expansionist era. From Republic to Empire, Rome's thirst for expansion only grew. The man who quenched this thirst was none other than Julius Caesar. Blessed with military genius and unparalleled charisma, Caesar rose through the ranks becoming the dictator of Rome. However, his reign was short-lived. Many senators feared his power, leading to his infamous assassination on the Ides of March. This bloody act sparked a power vacuum, setting the stage for the rise of his adopted son, Augustus Caesar. Augustus ushered in a time of relative peace and prosperity known as the Pax Romana. During this period, Rome's boundaries stretched from the sunny coasts of Spain to the deserts of Egypt, from the misty moors of Britain to the snowy peaks of Armenia. Rome was not just an empire, but a beacon of civilization, its influence echoing through the ages. At its zenith, Rome was a beacon of civilization and power, unmatched in its time. But all that glitters is not gold, the mighty Rome too, had an expiry date. Even the most powerful empires aren't immune to decline. Rome's fall was a slow burn, marred by economic struggles and over-dependence on slave labor and excessive military expenditure. The cracks truly began to show with the sack of Rome by the Visigoths in 410 AD. By 476 AD, Rome had collapsed entirely. And thus, the curtains fell on the grand stage of Rome, marking the end of an era. Rome fell, but did it really disappear? Not at all. Its imprint is evident in our everyday lives, from the Latin language which forms the backbone of many modern tongues, to the concept of citizenship, granting rights and privileges to individuals. Moreover, Roman law, the foundation of Western legal systems, still governs us. The Roman Empire, in truth, laid the groundwork for our modern world. As the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day and it certainly hasn't been forgotten in millennia. Its legacy lives on even today.